Drake paid J. Prince and said, hey, man, because he knew his, his whole career rode on this the outcome of this shit. And he has enough people around him to know that if you lose this shit right here, big home, you're no more that one take Drake. You're no more like, you know what I'm saying? You're not big time Drake no more. So pay J Prince and then look real upset like, huh, hold me back, hold me back. Ooh, you better be lucky. Ooh, you better be lucky. Hold me back. Boy, ooh, boy. Ooh, boy, I'm finna give it to you, boy. You better be lucky, boy. Only him, though. If Ooh, only him. Boy, you better be glad. Ooh, ooh, boy, I'm finna get at you, boy. Ooh, ooh. Because it's too much pressure. Motherfuckers are expecting Nothing less than the, the, the greatest diss song ever. You can't just come back with a back-to-back. -back. You got to come with a back-to-back-to-back. -to -back -to -back. This episode of the Big Bang Podcast is brought to you by My Olive Leaf. Olive leaf extract is good for naturally lowering your blood pressure, regulating your diabetic blood sugar, lupus, fibroid, STDs, and a whole bunch of other shit that you're going to need in the bedroom, big home. Now, to get your bottle, you go to myoliveleaf.biz or call 612-567-3263. Get your shit together, big home. Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast, and what I'm about to say is going to be really dangerous. So let me tell you who I am. I'm Ayo Conseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation. Fearless. This is Are You Serious? As in, is everybody just going to sit back and act like what just took place didn't take place? J. Prince has an, a financial invested interest in Drake. So, being as powerful as he is, he reached out on both ends and told them to stop, so they stopped. Period. Money runs this game. We get a whole lot of reasons why this took place and why that took place. You don't want to get down there in the pig pen and all that good stuff right there. But see... Drake beat up on Meek. That was a career killer. That pretty much, did that that right there, Meek Mill never did and never will recover fully from that back-to-back -back shit. I believe that whether or not Jay Prince is being paid directly from Drake or he just getting, or he's or, you know, his son is getting paid, so now he don't got to give his son money. Either way, it's, it's money in the family. So it's all love. So if Drake is destroyed, whatever like that, because here's the thing. Drake can be destroyed just from jumping out the window and saying, like, Pusha T goddamn got Kim Kardashian set up. You know what I'm saying? Pusha T was mad at Kanye West and... Got Kim Kardashian set the fuck up and wrong. You know what I'm saying? If you put that information out there, if he says it to the world, not just me, a nigga who knows that's what took place, as you people may or may not know that's what took place, this is what's going on. I fuck with Jay Prince because you have to fuck with Jay Prince. I'm from the South, but this is what this is. Nobody is saying what the fuck happened. You. Don't mind me. I'm just making sure that you know that that PayPal link is always in the description box. 90% of communication is non-verbal. You know that I believe that shit. So, as although I love when you go in the comment section and you say, ah, oh, this is really shit on YouTube, ah, oh, this fuck shit is a thousand, keep it real, and all that shit like that, I appreciate that shit, but if you really want to support the channel and you really believe the shit you're saying, fuck with the PayPal. Whether it's a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, show support. You know that you donate over twenty dollars. You have the option of getting your name or your business shouted out at the beginning of any episode of your choosing. Also, if you want one of the big homes AO Nation T-shirts, all you gotta do is go to the PayPal, shoot the twenty-five dollars on them, come back to the Facebook Messenger or the Instagram. Let me know you paid. Tell me what size you want, and it should be at your house after you get your address. But I think that's kind of obvious. I really don't want to say that on this fucking promo. 
But you know what I'm saying? It's really simple, whatever like that. But I want you to show support. Like, you know what I'm saying? AO Nation is not about talking. It's about doing. Do the shit, be home. Drake was about to lose. He was about to look crazy because he was about to... If he put out... It's just like this. We've never seen Drake lose. Never seen a, a chink in his armor. When it was time to rap, like I told y'all, when it was time to rap with Joe Budden, he said... Oh, man, you ain't big enough. <laughs> I'm going I'm to make him come on stage and, and do it, the, the Pump It Up song. He just little boy him. He little boy Joe Button. He used to this, you know what I'm saying? Uh, fuck y'all. He rapped with Meek because he was already prepared. Like, the niggas, he had, we all know he got a, a, a sweat team of niggas who write for him, which I'll say there's nothing wrong with that. If you are as popping as Drake is, I need an assistant right now. And I'm just, you know what I'm saying, at, at fucking 12,000 subscribers. I think 13 now. But I need an assistant. So I can only imagine how busy he is. He don't got no time to make no fucking songs up. As you, as you first come up, you do have to, you know, show people that you can do the shit. You have to be able to do it in the first place. So it's not that he needs ghostwriters because he can't do it. He needs ghostwriters because he has too much going on. And then he still wants to live a real life. Fans... Are, are like insatiable. You know what I'm saying? They always want more. They always want more and shit like that. So he's trying his best to give it to him. I don't give a fuck about that ghostwriting shit because I know he can actually do it on his own. But when it comes down to being fair, we've never seen somebody, you know, niggas toe to toe bumping and shit like that and then somebody fly down from a helicopter and, and pick Drake up. Uh, coming to save you and no, all. It's not that he's being. I'm not saving him or nothing like that. Uh, we just, we just not finna fight with the. I don't want him to hurt you. Like I was just telling Shell. Like it's like you know what I'm saying. It's two dogs in a goddamn kennel. Drake is the dog who then beat all these other dogs, whatever like that. And the owner sitting back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody sit back bragging and shit like that. And that dog is so successful at fighting. There are some people in the background. What the fuck are y'all doing over there? I can't. Come here. If you owe that tan something up now, I'm telling you now. What, what is y'all doing in there? Go lay down. Go lay down. The dog... Is so you don't even know how many investors that dog has. What we see is Baby and Wayne, but you know that Jay Prince, that's that's Jay's Prince, whatever the fuck the little name is. The middle, well, I don't know the fucking boys. I, I you know what I'm saying, but one of them Prince niggas brought Drake to Wayne, and now they were beefing over getting paid for Drake, whatever the fuck like that. So. This they still getting paid. This is what, if nothing else was shown here. What we know is that. Niggas is still getting paid off Drake. When that dog in that kennel thought Drake thought he was just gonna run the fuck over push your teeth. All you fuck niggas. All you fuck niggas was round this bitch when Drake did that goddamn dubbing shit and he like, oh no, who is over it? And I told y'all, go back to the first Drake video I made, the first one. Oh no, goddamn what Drake goddamn. And I told you niggas. I was telling you niggas about that 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 dick ride shit. You niggas all of y'all was on Drake's side. I was the only one to say, hold on, dog. Hold on. All that goddamn, like, acting like he just put out something that was crazy, crazy. It wasn't crazy, crazy. Then when Pusha T come out, everybody sound like, oh, man. Y'all y'all niggas really on some, I really feel like you niggas on some shit like, oh, man, he ain't had to go that far, man. Oh, man, that bullshit, dog. Come on, hold up, dog. I didn't know, see, I, see, I ain't know a whole bunch of shit about this shit. But obviously what happened was, uh, he talked about a nigga fiance. Hold on, dog. If you could talk about my bitch and it's true shit, ain't no you can't tell me what the fuck I can talk about, nigga. You can't this ain't no PG-13, my nigga. With meat meal, it wasn't no gut, it was rough, dog. It was rough and tough. The thing is, whether or not Drake was gonna let it be known that Pussy T had Kim Kardashian robbed or not, whatever. You know what I'm saying? This is a blood, I've said it before, this is a blood sport and motherfuckers want blood. When you goddamn uh, jip people out they blood, motherfuckers got some questions and, and they want answers. But ain't nobody answer no fuck, because this is the only nigga 
I was just, let me just be for real. I think Drake paid that nigga. I don't be for real, dog. Fuck the shit. Nobody gonna say it. I'm gonna say the shit, bitch, huh? I think Drake paid the nigga. Drake ain't have no goddamn response, so Drake paid J Prince, said, man, please come up here and say that you the one who had to push me back. The nigga's an actor. I fuck with Drake music. I been knew Drake was lame. I been knew, you see who the fuck he hang with. He hang with white boys. The boy lame, man. He lame. He made songs about hoes. That's why I fuck with him. He lame in real life. We know this. Everybody got an issue with him. The nigga lame. Meet me, your tiger. Chris Brown. Those three people don't see. I'm not going to go in there. I'm not going to go into that. Drake paid J Prince and said, hey, man, because he knew his, his whole career rode on this, the outcome of this shit. And he has enough people around him to know that if you lose this shit right here, big home, you're no more that one take Drake. You're no more like, you know what I'm saying? You're not big time Drake no more. So pay J Prince and then look real upset like, oh, uh, hold me back, hold me back. Ooh, you better be lucky. Ooh, you better be lucky, hold me back. Boy, ooh, boy. Ooh, boy, I'm finna give it to you, boy. You better be lucky, boy. Only him, though. If Ooh, only him. Boy, you better be glad. Ooh, ooh. Boy, I'm finna get at you, boy. Ooh, ooh. Because it's too much pressure. Motherfuckers are expecting nothing less than the, the, the greatest diss song ever. You can't just come back with a back-to-back. -back. You gotta come with a back-to-back-to-back. -to -back -to -back. That's, that, that type of pressure could fuck up the song right there. That, like, if you do anything wrong, and, like, it's really, um, that, that's, that, like, I don't, I, I did not see him, if he would have made a song that killed the shit, I would have been so surprised because, as high as these people's expectation was, dog, everybody was expecting him to, like, this nigga can't, he gotta go so high that I don't even expect him to do it. But he has to do it. This can't be so-so because now we see Drake ain't that fucking big. You know what I'm saying? You just dropped a live-ass song and everybody like, it is ever, and it's all right, but it's all right, and it's all right, and it's all right. Dad, make that jump. God, I made that jump. God, I made that God. I fuck with the music and shit. Look at that. You know what I'm saying? But I think that's what took place. J Prince, I believe that anybody just couldn't do it though. You can't just be an anybody ass nigga and pay J Prince to get a nigga off your ass. The same way 6 9 is paying Shotty to keep niggas off his ass, the same way 6 9 is paying police to keep niggas off his ass and shit like that. This is what you have to do. You can't just be no anybody ass nigga. Drake is playing motherfucking chess. Let me do this and throw a tech in the game. Let me do this and throw a tech in the game because everybody is fucking watching. And this goddamn boy just came out of nowhere. And the way this nigga just came out, I know he got more. Public perception runs this goddamn rap shit. Public perception. You have to be perceived as a gangster, gangster, gangster nigga if that's what the fuck your image is. The reason why Plies had to change up his whole fucking format. He had to change up his whole style to nothing but whole songs and, and weird shit like that. Hell real. Your nigga, Alley Boy. You know what I'm saying? Alley Boy, you can't come back from that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? If your, if your persona is built on gangsta, 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 and it's not the music. It's like, motherfuckers are not buying your music. They're buying into you. They're not buying 6 ix music. They're buying into him. That's why it, he doesn't mind spending money on security and shit like that and paying the police. Because he knows that's what his whole, this is his whole thing. If niggas would just stop talking to 6 9 he would flop. He would flop. Like he was gonna do when he came in, but he's smart enough to know I, I studied the game. I know how this shit rocks. With Drake, he wins because I'm Drake. I'm better than Wayne. I run music. This this is what I do. That, that's, that's his persona. I don't lose nothing. I am him. I'm him. And that's who the fuck he is. So as a boss, he pulled a boss move. You have to respect it. 
You have to respect it, but that's what took place. So now it's on y'all to say, okay, well, this is what took place. Now what we gonna, you know what I'm saying? How we gonna rock with it? I do not believe that Jay Prince will come out the woodwork and say, hey man, we need to, you know what I'm we need to calm this, this down with brothers. I'm about to do a story on Young and Ace. We got plenty of stories like this. You got your homeboy uh, Pablo Juan just got fucking around. Rallo just got fucked over. We got plenty of stories of niggas getting really, truly fucked up in this rap industry. And there's no one speaking out about it. No one speaking out. Kendrick Lamar just had to stand up for XXX Temptation and uh, the other little boy. Or R. Kelly and somebody like that. You know what I'm saying? He had to stand up and get Spotify to put their playlist back up. Kendrick Lamar did that. There are a lot of things in hip hop that someone could stand up for that really mean something. But when someone comes and stands up for one person's career, niggas were calling me biased because I said, hold on with that dead. I don't give a, I didn't give a fuck about the goddamn battle. I didn't like the deadbeat talk. I don't like that deadbeat fucking talk because I don't, these dogs, Hoes that get pregnant by niggas who do not want to be father, like dog, that shit boils my fucking blood because hoes have a oh, they're working for the god. Don't get me started. They're working for the fucking government. The government put a, a plan. They said, okay, look, bitch, look now. If you want some money, now I tell you how to get some money. All you gotta do get pregnant by a nigga, you get pregnant by a nigga, and then come to me and I I make you some money out that shit. But you, you gotta be a nigga. Get you a nigga. The, the more money he got, the better it's gonna be for you. We both gonna eat. Go ahead. That's how that shit happened. So I, I have a, I have, I have, um, I hate that shit. So all I heard was deadbeat. I ain't know about the black face. I ain't know what the fuck was said in the disc. I ain't give a fuck. Nigga was calling Drake a deadbeat because it's supposed to be a child out here by some weird ass clout chasing nothing ass porn star bitch. Who knew who the fuck, you know who Drake is. He's not father material. Any good mother would want the, she would want a parent that she can parent with. How in the fuck can he be a parent when he's the biggest thing in fucking music? You know that he doesn't want a child. So I feel like that definitely, because you know, I want to speak to the young 13 year old girls, the ones who have not, they have the choice. 13 to 16, the ones who haven't made the choice of who they're going to be in life, but I would want them to be more um, goal-oriented than uh, child-oriented because a child does not make you any more of, of, it don't make you fine, it don't make you any more of a woman, it doesn't make you any more mature, but they're, they're bombarded with a propaganda that makes them think that if I get a baby, I'll, I'm going to have swag because that's what you nothing ass bitches are showing them. If I get a weave, I'm going to have swag. If I uh, if I wear short shorts, I'm going to have swag. If I let niggas fuck me, I'm going to have swag. You nothing ass bitches are showing these young girls how to get fucked over and make the same fucking mistakes that you did. You nothing ass bitches. That's my issue. So... Niggas killed me and said I was biased to Drake because I was talking about that bitch and her, that deadbeat shit. I'm wondering, how in the fuck ain't this biased? Why is everybody silent? Ain't nobody gonna speak up? My nigga Doc Hicks, he spoke up. He said some shit. He spoke up on it. He spoke up on it. Like I said, that's my nigga because like I told y'all, I told these goddamn media platforms, y'all motherfuckers know goddamn where y'all see me. You know goddamn, just like the niggas in Baldwin County. Niggas in Alabama. Y'all know goddamn well y'all see me. So not acknowledging me, not saying, hey man, congratulations. Hey man, congratulations on your success. That's hating right there. Because you see the shit is right in front of your face. You can't hide from it. Not, not, so if you ain't said, if you ain't came out your way and say, hey man, but I see what you're doing, boy, love. And then you can walk off like that. But not acknowledging it's like, man, what the fuck kind of shit you on, dog? Damn, you hate like that? It gonna hurt you that bad to just congratulate a nigga? But that's how niggas is though. The same thing with you in your city. If you keep working, if you stay focused, if you sacrifice, be productive every fucking day, you gonna get to that point. And the same folks that just watching you, laughing at you, talking about you, you gonna be in a spot where the fuck they got it. Now they secretly trying to send you a friend request. Secretly trying to send you goddamn friend requests. 
Cause they don't want nobody to know. They don't want nobody to know that you know what I'm saying the same nigga that they was talking about now they didn't see him at friend request. That shit is amazing. Don't get me started. That's where I'm from. I'm from the home of the haters. Good ball and county. This is where, this is where hating started. I'm, I'm pretty goddamn sure that hating was originated and invented in Baldwin fucking County, dog. No, you don't get no love here. She. These motherfuckers around this bitch were goddamn nigga. It was. I'm not finna. I'm not finna do it. I'm not finna do it. Listen. I think that Drake paid. Uh, I think. I think he paid Jay Prince and shit like that. And nobody's saying nothing about it. Motherfuckers know, and like I said, because Drake, he knows that he, it, he can give Jay Prince fifty million dollars just for that, just for that, that stamp, just for him ending the beef. Give him fifty million. If he doesn't give him that fifty million, and if the beef isn't ended, that shit can lose him. Uh, who knows? How much it would fucking lose him. This shit could lose him three, five hundred million dollars. Five hundred million because your show slow down. You had all this shit to deal with. All this whatever, you know what I'm saying? You're paying that for peace of mind that my career can go back to how it was before I tried this goddamn boy. Even though I don't like you he might have tried you, whatever. No, it don't matter how I, it don't matter how it happened. Cause I really think that Drake is really just defending himself in all these situations. He defending himself. But the, on this one right here, you should just let the nigga keep serving. You over him. You know what I'm saying? Just let, let the nigga keep serving. Fuck the shit. You know what I'm saying? But if, if you put, you bit off more than you can chew. He, he got in your ass. You got to pay that nigga to get him off your ass. Go back to living how you been living. Motherfucker had to pay that. It's just what it is. And that's the business of it. But that's what took place. Respectfully. Y'all make sure y'all fuck that PayPal. Are you serious? Also, y'all make sure y'all fuck with them t-shirts. Go to the PayPal. $25. I know you've seen the promo. Fuck with a nigga. See y'all in a minute. Are you serious?